What's up guys, super stoked to have you here and super stoked to show you my new to me 2001 YZ 252 stroke. So fun story with this one. Um, I bought it from my soon to be brother-in-law's father who owns a power sports shop um, up in Rolla, North Dakota. And he had this bike for lots of years sitting in the shop owner never came and got it i think it was over 10 years there eight years there and i was interested in buying a bike and he ended up selling it to me um the bike was in really rough shape i'll put some pictures in right here um plastics were shot um just needed a lot of love and tlc so what i ended up doing is right away when i got it tore it completely down um straight to the bones just the frame i painted the frame that nice baby blue um, color just wanted something a little bit different something retro and then um, got all new plastics for it a cheap graphics kit from Kalire GFX it's pretty cheap um, didn't want to go something too expensive because I've never really raced or rode dirt bikes on the track before looking to start that now um, ended up needing a whole new top end and needed the jug replated um as a factory uh boysen uh, clutch cover has the um pro circuit uh platinum fatty pipe with a spark arrester uh, silencer on it um it still has a broken uh, a little bit of a broken mount there that I need to get aluminum welded up um it needed a new t rear tire got a new rear tire on it um, new sprocket, new chain, um, also a new um, sprocket in the front. Also did a whole carb rebuild with new vent lines on there, um, new all balls front wheel bearings, new brake pads. Um, I do believe the fork needs to have new seals and some new oil put in. That's going to be a project for a later date as I don't have any of the tools to really work on a motor dirt bike uh, fork definitely done it on the you know the mountain bikes before which has been pretty easy so i think i could tackle it just need to get the right tools um other than that man this thing starts up first kick um uh, and just it rips i've never really ridden a big dirt bike i think the biggest the biggest dirt bike i rode was a old honda 1987 or 67 xr 75 um, had that as a kid just kind of tooled around in our big acreage growing up so having this big bike and able to go to tracks now is going to be sick so just looking forward to racing and learning a new sport so glad to have you guys with the journey and uh, you'll hear this two stroke sing in a little bit Appleton OHV Park here first rip let's get it Sure, 
exactly what that is. I cleaned the power valves. I still think there could probably be more clean more. Maybe it's a clutch issue, but second, third, fourth gear is fine. So we're just gonna have some fun out here. Yeah, a little, a little slick. She rained quite a bit the last two weeks, but I just wanted to get out and ride. So that's what we're doing. Such a rookie. Hey, jumping's pretty good though. That's translating from the mountain bike. That's the first, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Tried to get, you know, 20 minutes consistently on the bike for my first ever ride. Um, yeah, she's muddy, obviously, so kind of rough conditions for your first ever day out on the track, but man, this is fun. Um, I've always wanted to do this, always wanted to take a dirt bike out on the track, so it's cool that I can come here, you know, and even though it's wet, it's still open. Um, yeah, I mean, need to figure out that. Ning, 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 the cutting out in first gear, um, that's a little annoying. So I have to dig into that. If you know that issue and the fix, let me know. 2001 YZ252 stroke. Um, but anyway, second, third gear is good. I know I'm lugging it down more than I probably should, not keeping it in the power band, but I'm learning. I'm learning a new sport. So I'm gonna get out there and ride after I give my hand a little break. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get back out there and just have some fun. That's all this is about. I'm, I might do some races, you know, later on, but right now, this season, I'm just gonna learn. Learn and practice. Just about went into that big old puddle. I should start going down there just to work on flat corners.
damn it. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I went to hit my brake and I accidentally blipped the throttle. <laughs> oh, now she's in the water. This is going to be fun to get out. Ugh. Get her out of gear. Oh, uh, dumbass. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Two laps ago, the three laps ago, whatever it was, I was like, oh, we better uh, be careful on that burn. We just about went over it. And I was going, and I knew I was coming in hot, so I went to hit the brake. And for somehow, some way, I blipped the throttle, and I just carried my, I was, and then that stood me up, and then went right over the berm into the puddle. Um, I think for the most part, the bike is okay. Um, it wasn't a terrible hard slam, but I did. My triple clamps moved a little bit, I think, because she looks a little bit off-centered, angled that way, so we need to fix that. Well, so I just decided I'm gonna address it when I get home. I'm just gonna do a little bit more riding today, and then we'll call her good. Thanks for watching the video this far. Um, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed some uh, rookie riding on a big bike. I know I probably should have started off on a 125, but I got a really good deal on this 252 stroke. I'm definitely gonna go home, fix a couple things, fix this uh, out of alignment issue. And then also that first gear, I think it's a clutch, cause it's like I'm hitting a false neutral, but uh, I'm gonna get the bike loaded up head back to home, load up the mountain bike, and go ride Brophy. So um, there'll probably be a little bit of a video of that too. So sweet. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned more. Shred on, boys.